Hi, hello, welcome to this Christmas video. Good job making it up till here. And on today's episode of the Cuckoo Cooking Show, lots of roasting, many birds. Of... Oh no, that's something else. No, Christmas song, yes. Woo! Christmas season means Christmas song season. And this is a tutorial for the 12 days of Christmas. Yes, each one of them gets its own tutorial in this 12 part video, not really. Just to show you how this sounds, I'm gonna sing either side of the five gold rings, I'm going to sing the fourth day of Christmas and the sixth day of Christmas, which I think technically is the 29th and 30th, or 30th, of, anyway. On the, on the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me four collie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And now on the sixth, on the sixth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me six geese a lay in five gold rings, four corny birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. So this is how we're going to play it. Of course, we're going to learn it much slower, and you can play it slower too, making sure all the relatives join in around the Christmas table. Um, and it's in G, not very hard. We're actually going to start with um, a little bit of finger picking just to introduce the song because it repeats itself a lot. So it's nice if you have sort of this opener and closer for the song. Uh, by this I mean this little this little thing. Now what's important here? is that uh, the note that is in the melody can be either on the A string at the bottom or the G string at the other bottom. <laughs> so at either side of the ukulele you can have the melody there or even sometimes in the middle. So it's very important that the note that has the melody is played last, which is why we go on the... This is a G, simple G, on the... But then we strum up here the G finishing our little strum on the string of C where we're playing the D on the second fret. So we play 2-2 two, two on the index and then play the G finishing on the index without playing the open string of G. And then life goes on. And then G, G. And here we play an A minor down but without playing the top string. And here second, third. Everything open, la, second, and then D7 here, we finish on the top string, D, and here we go, C, A, and a normal G, D. So we play here the seventh, and then we play this G string, and then we play a G down. D, da, D, D, da, D. And here we play third fret, and here's open seven seven five, da, and then a G shape on open seven eight seven, D eight, and then a normal G, D, D, and then D, D, and then we play a normal G up, D, which sounds like this. Do, 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 do. And then you start singing on the... Oh, by the way, before we get started, a uh, song sheet in the description, also Christmas songbooks, Christmas files, and all sorts of Christmassy stuff. All of this made possible by the wonderful patrons mm -hmm. who are um, supporting my lessons. And actually all sorts of musical things on the interwebs. So if you enjoy this lesson, make sure you say thanks to them. First day of Christmas. On the first day we start singing, actually all the time, on the second fret of the C string which is our index on the G. On the first day of... And on Christmas, E minor, Christmas, my... True love gets everything open. That's what happens with true love, you just open up. True love, D7, send to G, me. Um, a pa, again on a, a G on pa. Pa, C, tridge, G, in a D, pear tree. Second day of Christmas. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. And then here we have a D. 
two turtle doves. And then we go again with the and a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, third day of Christmas. On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French ends, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, now four. Let's do this up, hoppity hop, quite fast. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me four coolie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves. Are you following? Yes. Oh, good job. And a partridge in a pear tree. Um, a little thing that I didn't mention is how I play the D7. Uh, my true love sent. I actually play it with my index all across the twos, which is normal. But then instead of my middle finger on the seventh here on the third fret, I play it with my ring finger on the third fret. That enables me to sort of be more comfortable and to twist less personally, but whatever suits you. Now, when we arrive to the golden rings, that's when things start to change. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me five gold rings, five G. And then on gold, we've got an A, two, one, open, open, gold. You can even play an A7 if you want a bit more drama. Gold rings, but actually we play D star, meaning we play two, open, two, open. Rings, and then everything changes after that. I'll just say, why are we playing this strange D, Ben? It's Christmas, can't we just do things in a nice, traditional manner? Yes, absolutely, but actually, what's quite nice is that the melody is going five gold rings, and if the lowest note of the ukulele goes five gold rings, you've got some nice rubbing and drama building, which is really nice on our, oops. The decoration fell on our little ukulele to be able to have these bits of orchestration that enrich those moments a bit. So let's see if you can hear the difference without the rubbing. Five gold rings, or five gold rings. It really leads to something, and then everything changes after that. We don't have four pa pa pum pum pa pa pum on the D. We have a new set of things. Five gold rings. There, I just sang that, sorry. And then on the G, four, we start singing on the fifth fret. Four collie birds, four collie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And that's the same again. So we have four collie birds. This EM, you don't have to do it, but I just like to add it. But you can also do four collie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. You know what? That's probably how we'll do it now. Just forget that E minor, but I like to add it and sing four collie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Slowly together at five gold rings, and for a bit of drama, now and again, you can add this sort of tremolo effect with your index. Like this, five, sing it, sing it with me, sing it. five gold rings, stop, and then four collie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And the D7 here on the last line, I'm actually playing it with my middle finger all across and ring finger on the third here. And then everything above the five golden rings, all the other birds, and the leapers and dancers and the ladies. Well, that's just all on the D, like this. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords a-leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five gold rings. Four collie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And then that's the end. Then you've got all the gifts and you don't know what to do. And probably um, lots of complications arrive with a large number of birds living inside a home. Um, I'm not going to get into those details now. Now when you have this long list and of course every time you sing it you add... You know how this works, right? But it's just, it can be a bit repetitive so you can uh, change the chords a bit in the... Twelve, so for example, for example, twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping. Instead of just playing D all the time, you can play G, D, 
O, G, D, D7. Like so. Twelve drummers drumming, simple D, and now eleven pipers piping, G, D, and now G, D, D7. Ten lords are leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five gold rings, four collie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree, and a partridge in a pear And at the end, and this is a little bonus because it's the end of the tutorial now, you can do and a partridge in a pear tree, which is open one, open one. Just add a bit of drama. <gasps> What's happening now? And a partridge in a pear tree. And then you can close off with what we had a look at the beginning, and it's do 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 do. And then that's nice. You've got opening chapter, closing chapter, beautiful song, 12 days of Christmas, done, dusted, birds everywhere. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped. If it did, feel free to mention it, to share also how much it helped you with other people who might enjoy this kind of helping. And uh, see you soon for more. Enjoy the seasonal days. Happy Merry. Bye-bye.